Welcome, collectors and friends. Yes, it's time for another DCP by First Gear 164 scale diecast truck review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Kenworth W900L day cab with Mississippi LPG tandem axle tanker trailer in the colors of Davenport Energy. Uh, this is one of three different trucks that I received with this style tanker. I gotta say, Honestly, all three of them are very attractive and nice-looking rigs. Two of them come with Peterbilts, and this is the only exception that uh, does not come with a Peterbilt. Obviously, this comes with a Kenworth. So, with all that being said, let's take a quick look at the box and then begin the unboxing process. If you are new and you have maybe never seen a DCP by First Gear box, this is the style of packaging it comes in which I always like to call the clear window style package because it has a clear window that you can see the model in it. DCP by first gear at the bottom, 164 scale. These are adult collector items not intended for anyone under the minimum age of at least 14. These are not toys. Again, these are not toys, despite all the people that leave me comments about wanting to buy these for their children. These are not toys. 164 scale diecast replica, DCP by first gear. And on the back of the box, we have open road sold separately, built on tradition, powered by precision, DCP by first gear. And last, underneath the box, we have DCP by first gear. Here is where I got my model from, the construction diecast store, their phone number, where they're located, and their website. Over here, you can see the item number for the Davenport Energy version of this model is 60-1135. All right, we've got all of the technicalities out of the way. Let's go ahead and unbox this truck. I will tell you that at the time that I am reviewing this video, if you are interested in purchasing this specific version of the model, they are currently available on the Construction Diecast Store's website, and they retail for just shy of $93 US. The model is held in two plastic pull-apart formers. There are four tapes that you have to cut. I've already done that to save us a little bit of time. Lift the top piece of the plastic former off. Here is our look at the trailer. Here is the Kenworth. And last, but certainly not least, they have provided us right here an extra set of mirrors should you need those, or perhaps you misplace the ones that come on the model. All right, when we come back, we'll take a closer look at the details and decals on both of these trucks. All right, beginning with the dimensions uh, for this model. It weighs just over two pounds, width four inches, height four inches, and depth 15 inches with the trailer connected to the truck. Starting out with the Kenworth 49 or the Kenworth W900L day cab, you can see that it has the Davenport Energy logo on the door, the Kenworth logo on the hood. We bring it a little bit closer to us so you might be able to see those decals just a little bit better. Sometimes on a white truck, the decals don't necessarily come across too well on camera, but we will do the very best that we can. Here are your lines on the back, and if you are wondering, the lines on these DCP trucks, they are just there for show. They are not intended to hook into the trailer. I guess maybe if you really, really wanted to, you can undo these, extend them out, and glue them into the trailer, but unlike Sword 150th scale trucks, for example, they are not meant to hook into the trailer. There are some more details on the back portion of the cab, such as lights. You can see the bolt detailing on the back of the day cab. Here is your fifth wheel, which does move. As for your regular wheels, chrome is always nice to see on trucks, in my opinion. You can never have too much chrome. Well, yes, you can. But chrome is used appropriately on here, and it certainly doesn't oversaturate the truck. There is also diamond-plated texturing up on top of the uh, chassis of the vehicle. Moving to the front, here is the front of the Kenworth W900L. Here's the chrome grille, the KW badge, bumper, your lights, your mirrors. The mirrors themselves have a little bit of a silver reflective surface on it. I would not call it a mirror finish. You're not going to be able to brush your teeth in those mirrors, unfortunately. And uh, your mud flaps on the back, once again, do have your Davenport Energy on them as well. Taking a look underneath the chassis of the truck, for those that are interested, there's what the chassis looks like. That is the tractor. 
let's check out the trailer. So here is your uh, LPG tandem axle tanker trailer. I don't know why that's so difficult for me to get out. Tandem axle tanker trailer. Good lord. Anyway, here it is. And uh, again, the use of decals, perfect. They look very sharp against the predominantly white background of the truck. Davenport Energy, their logo, delivering energy for you. Uh, there is a warning placard which reads 1075, so you can tell what is inside this trailer if you didn't already know. Here's your DOT striping all along it. Uh, obviously, chrome on the trailer as well. At the back, you have propane, which is what 1075 is, in case you didn't know that here in the States. And then you also have this decal, which really, I'm surprised you don't see more on trucks, because on the road, in the real world, you see this on, almo on almost every truck. And this says, this vehicle stops at all railroad crossings. Again, there is a fire extinguisher accessory here. On this side, you can really get an appreciation for uh, all the different nozzles and such, where your different lines and things would get plugged into. While we're on the trailer, let's do a smooth transition now to functionality. Obviously, the main functionality on the trailer is that the wheels will roll when you hook it up to a trailer. You have your kingpin here, which would sit very nicely into the truck. We'll demonstrate that in just a couple minutes. But if you wanted to put the trailer by itself away from the truck, honestly, it'll sit pretty decently as you see it now. But if you wanted it a little bit more level, uh, you can undo the landing legs. They are on a screw mechanism, and you can undo them so that the trailer sits a little bit more level about right here instead of right there. That's the functionality of the trailer. Let's bring in our Kenworth once again. Unfortunately, we'll get the uh, unfortunate note out of the way right now so we can focus on the positives. The doors do not open on the cab. Again, I I have no excuse or, exam or reasoning why. They just don't open. The wheels will roll very freely. You do have working notched steering, so it will lock into a couple different positions. And finally, last but certainly not least, the hood does open to a reasonable angle so that you can see the red motor or engine that is inside along with a few other uh, detailed mechanical components. All right, before we sign off, let's get truck and trailer connected together so that you can see what they look like. Simply drop the kingpin into the fifth wheel on the tractor and you are ready to go deliver some propane. Overall, this set by DCP, by first gear in 164 scale. If you are looking for a truck and trailer of a propane tanker, this is a set you can't go wrong with. It is reasonably priced at around that 92 to 93 uh, dollar price tag that I mentioned during the introduction of the video. And this color choice in particular of the Davenport Energy, um, the use of the sharp decals on this white truck, I think looks absolutely extravagant and uh, is certainly an eye catcher when you see it in person. It is, it doesn't do it justice when you have the whiteness of the review area, but I got to tell you, if you think it looks good on camera, it looks 10 times better in person. I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so very much for watching. If you are new here, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. It is completely free. It costs you nothing but a moment of your time. And that also helps you out to make sure that you don't miss a single episode that we upload on this channel. Take care of yourself. Be well. Be kind to others. I will see you in the next review.